www.loudonradio.com. We're now joined by head coach Josh Graves of the Loudon Redskin basketball team. Coach, another good win tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, we weren't we weren't uh, very good in the first uh, three quarters there, but uh, I felt like the last five minutes or so, uh, the boys stepped it up and and played to our ability and and found a way to win. We had a hard time scoring, and and Donovan and Lucas uh, made some big shots down the stretch for us. And uh, you know, I wasn't very pleased with our effort in the first half. I, I didn't think it was very good, and I felt like our lack of ability to score led to uh, some some poor defensive possessions but you know find a way and we know that we're in control of our own destiny in the district and we've got to win them out and uh, we know we got to play better on Friday when a tough McMinn Central team comes in here. What do you attribute that to coach of that slow start and missing those shots is it the uh, factor of playing last night uh, what do you yeah. contribute that to? I think it's a mixture of, of playing last night in a tough you know heated game Friday was a tough heated game um, and you know that wears on you you know you don't kids don't think it but people don't think it but it does it wears on you you know mentally and physically and and uh, you know a little bit on top of that is we hadn't had to practice before these two games you know we, we weren't able to practice Sunday afternoon which is fine um, but you know we haven't been very good and um, I attribute that to our not being able to practice and um, you know, playing back to back is tough, and, and especially I'm sure our, their legs are hurting after the running gun style we played last night and then having to turn around and play a district game tonight. Coach, you uh, led the entire game until a minute 56 to go in the third, and they took the lead back 34 33. But then on the shoulders of uh, Donovan Blankenship and Lucas Bivens, you were able to pull away in the fourth quarter. What was their play like tonight for you? Uh, they were big. Um, you know, uh, Lucas and, and Don didn't have the first half that they would have wanted, but they were huge down the stretch. You know, we, we went with uh, Keaton at the point guard and put Donnie on the wing and got him some looks. Um, and, and so that's, you know, that, that's nice to have guys like Keaton and Gunner who can handle the ball and we can put Donnie in a scoring position. Um, and and uh, then Lucas made some big shots and, and he's kindly gotten away from the perimeter. Um, he's played inside for us a lot, uh, but he's more than capable of playing the perimeter and that may be something as a coach that I do is is bumping back out to the three a little bit, you know, and, and let him play on the wing some because uh, he's proven he can score for us, um, you know, early in the year, middle of the year now, he's proven he can score and uh, made two big threes down the stretch that, you know, Coach Sam, man, he was, he was going to make us hit shots. You know, he knows that we want to get inside and score and he was going to make us hit shots and those two were big making shots for us. Well, in, in the third quarter, uh, Lucas kind of had his handfuls on the inside. Yeah. What was it like, uh, you know, having him guard uh, Fritz, who was able to come away with 14 points yeah. and be the lead scorer? You know, th that young man, uh, he, he plays really hard, and, and he – I don't really know him, um, but he, he seems to be the type of kid that deserves a night like he got tonight. So, you know, tip your hat off the – Fritz for them. He played well. Uh, I thought Lucas adjusted late and and quit trying to get around so hard. And he had four points in the fourth. So yeah, he adjust. um, well, we we adjusted and we were playing too high. And, and you know you, you make the first catch hard and react to the second. That's good post defense in my book. And uh, I thought Duke, Lucas did a better job of that in the fourth. Made him score over. And and you know uh, as you said he only had four in the fourth. He did a much better job. Um, but that kid had a good night for him. And, and um, you know, it, it was it was hard on Lucas because he was having to do it on both ends. And you mentioned just a minute ago about how uh, practice-wise you've not been able to practice uh, mm -hmm. before these two games. And now you have two days of practice before what could be one of the most important games of your season. Yeah. And McMinn Central that could ultimately possibly decide if you can finish towards the top two of the district. Yeah. Uh, but – You've also had three games here in four days. So, yeah. what um, what do you do 
needing to be able to adjust and practice and make some of those calls, but also knowing that you need to make sure that you keep those boys fresh for Friday. Mm -hmm. I, I think, uh, you know, obviously we got some things to look at. Um, a lot of fundamental stuff, man. Just, you know, we're, we're getting towards the end of the year and, and, and guys are getting, you know, worn down and tired. And, and the first thing that goes is the mind. You know, I know it is with me. I, I go brain dead and forget what it is I was doing five seconds ago when I get tired. And and so I, I know these boys are, are there. It's wearing on them. So we're going to do a lot of shooting the next two days. <laughs> Obviously, we need it. <laughs> but Not if your defense is as, uh, as been. We're going to do a lot of shooting and, and try to let these guys get some confidence back in, in, the, in their ability to shoot the ball. We know they can. We've just struggled to score this year. And and uh, so we're going to do a lot of shooting. We'll do some tweaks with our defenses and just kind of looking at things. Not a lot of, uh, you know, five on five, up, up, up tempo stuff or anything like that. Um, but, you know, some learning moments, a lot of shooting and, you know, working on offense. I mean, Central's going to play nothing but man. So we'll, we'll probably do a lot of skeleton sets and stuff like that to make sure that, you know, we know where we need to be when we need to be there and and uh, that we do our job otherwise. Well, we wish you the best of luck, uh, and we'll see you Friday as McMinn Central comes to town. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you all. All right. So that should do it from Loudon High School.